Hi guys, in this video we'll be looking at the price mechanism and then we'll be finishing off with a summary. Okay, so the price mechanism, it's going to be quite useful when we're talking about situations in which the market is experiencing excess demand or excess supply. As through the price mechanism, these are eliminated because of the invisible hand. And it's in the invisible hand that we see the price mechanism occur. So imagine that there is excess demand in a market. So how do we demonstrate this? Well, let's say that we have a price which is lower and then we would end up drawing out our lines like this. So this point here is going to be the quantity demanded at this low price and this would be the quantity supplied at that low price. And the difference between them is our excess demand, okay? And signals will be therefore sent to producers that there is excess demand in this market. So for example, a signal might be that there's excessive queuing for the product of something. And this signaling is the first function of the price mechanism. The producer will be incentivized to make more goods as they have been signaled that there is an opportunity to make greater profits. So in increasing their supply, they will reap the benefits of having higher profits, which is the intention of firms. Therefore, the price mechanism's second function is to act as an incentive device. As producers supply more of the good, of which there is a shortage, the scarce resources which are used to make this good are rationed to the consumers who want them the most. So suppose we have our metal here, which is used to make printers, but then also certain toys like fidget spinners. If it turns out that the fidget spinners are experiencing an increase in demand and there's excess demand, then there'll be less production of metal into printers and then we'll end up seeing more production into our toys and fidget spinners. So therefore, the final function of the price mechanism is its role as a rationing device. And because of these three roles of the price mechanism, this allows the equilibrium to be restored to the market. So we eliminate any excess demand and supply and we move back to our equilibrium point here. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you're looking for an amazing A-level economics resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the Snap Revised smiley face and together let's make A-level economics a walk in the park.